Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and today I want to show you guys um, some really cool techniques to achieve looks like this where you can basically drive the motion of particles by an image and we're going to be achieving that playing with a Van Gogh image which I really really love. Okay, so the idea here is how do we control forces to get these really cool shapes um, based on some sort of information from this painting and like have that turned into particles and get something similar to the kind of work that everybody's been seeing out there from people like Rafika Nadal, for example. Um, if you haven't seen his work, go check it out. It is absolutely amazing. Um, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I downloaded this image and from Van Gogh and it can be sorry it can be basically any image you guys want to turn into like particles or any sort of data that you want to feed into this all right so let me just start a clean houdini scene um and let's call this particle paint First thing we're going to do is drop down a grid. And we're going to do UV quick shade and a UV project. So let's first use the UV project and we're going to initialize so that like we get really nice UVs. And if you hit enter, you can move your UVs or scale them. Um, so this is going to give you your base UVs. Now we want the UVs to showcase the painting. So if we hit here on this little button here on your UV quick shade on the texture, um, I have this Van Gogh painting that we're going to be playing with. Um, so let's come here. Let's have a look at it. And the first thing that we want to do is on your UV project, hit enter and, uh, and hit here for the scale or hit E for this scale. And we're going to, eyeball it like get some sort of like shape like that and um now i'm going to resize my grid here and i want this uv to basically i'm just gonna duplicate that and in here i'm not gonna use my vertices for my uvs but i'm gonna use my points so i'm gonna store my uv information into the points here Okay, so that is the first thing that I want to do now. I'm going to just scatter some points. Before my UVs. And we're going to want to have a decent amount of points. Let's see, I feel like. Let's remove that limit and let me just see if we need to relax them or not. Let's start with that. Let's do UV. I mean, um, attribute from map. So this is basically the same thing as the quick shade, but applied to the point and we will use that same image that we were playing with so the van gogh image and now we have the van gogh image um, on points so that's the first part that i want to show you guys now let's have a look at how do we well let's set up the points first and then let's figure out how we can drive the points in certain directions that the image is pointing so we could do it completely flat like this, or we could do like a extrude polygon. And we're going to give this like a 0.1 or something like that. Close the output back. So it's close in the back and points from volume. And that's going to fill up this box with points. And we want to do 0 0.02 or something so that it's more uh, packed. And then we can do the same thing here. 
and we'll get the image it's gonna look a little bit more interesting so now let's do a pop net we're gonna be emitting from the points that we've already got here therefore if we come in here you are gonna say source all points so all the income points and we do not want to use the guides so that we can see the image um, if you hit this button here we're gonna see real time and if we hit play then we'll notice that nothing happens so that's the first thing let's do a pop force just to have a look and make sure that all of our points are working and let's give it a little bit of amplitude here and it's gonna go crazy there we go so now it is already looking pretty crazy um but what i want to do is have a little bit more control over the flow of this point so it's not like completely random like we have it right now um so in order to do that let's come back um let's come back into our uh, quick shade and um, I'm gonna give our grid more points. And then we're gonna do a comb. And what we're gonna do with the comb is basically paint um, our normals. So the brush, symmetry, stroke, operation. Now we're gonna enable our normals here. And if you can see, you can paint your normals. So let's go ahead and like think that uh, I'm Van Gogh. I'm gonna paint his his float. <laughs> uh, so we'll do something like this. All right, guys, I'm back and I have made this incredible painting. Just kidding. So like that's our base and those are our normals painting uh, moving in those directions. So now we're going to drop down a wrangle and we want to say that our normals are basically the same as our velocity. Our velocity is the same as our normals. There we go, sorry. Um, okay, so now if we hit here, we'll see that nothing's changed. But if we go into an attribute VOP, we can actually multiply this. So let's say multiply our velocity by a constant value. and show me that on our normals so that we can basically see our velocity from our normals. So we can see that it is working and um, yeah, so let's come here and um, start by increasing that a little bit, something like that. And now we want to transfer this velocity into our points um, on this side of the network. So attribute transfer. Um, we want to transfer only our velocity. And we're going to increase the sample count. So now we should have, if we middle click here, we see we don't have a velocity. Here we do have the velocity. And here we now have a velocity as well. Um, that's it. Let's have a look at what this gives us. Turning off the pop force. 
and we can see that now our velocities are driving I mean our comb where we drew drives the simulation All right, guys, so we do have this sort of like motion that seems pretty cool because you can see that it kind of rotates with the image. Um, those velocities look very interesting, uh, but they're really uniform and a lot of them are moving up in the Y axis. So um, I want to add some variation to them um, very roughly. Basically, the thought is um, using the um, pop drag. And we're gonna use a vex expression and we're gonna say error resist is equal to fit01 rand at pt num between a value between a value of zero and one. So that's gonna just break it up a bit. Air resist. That's gonna give me um, variation, but it's going to be random. It's going to be per point. And I want that variation to happen based on color. Um, and I also want to control the, the height of the randomization of the particles so that like it's not all going on the Y axis. Um, and we have a little bit more control over what we have. So I don't want this video to continue to get really long. I will show you guys this on the next part.